Okay, so we've imported some video clips and some audio. I need to shuffle some things around here though. Uh, my Popeye song lasts long enough that it works great for the shots I got of Popeye hanging out. But then we got some shots afterwards and the music didn't last long enough there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down shift and then box select uh, a few of these clips here. Probably those ones there. I'm going to just drag them up and over. I'm going to drag them to about here. And then I'm going to shift and select those videos. And now I can drag the Popeye music over here to line up with the Popeye video. And I can drag the Thriller song out a little bit longer. So now we also just need to go here. We'll go up to uh, effects list. We'll choose audio. We'll do fade out and we'll fade out the uh, Thriller, and we'll also drag that out to the Popeye song here. So let's see how that sounds. So Thriller fades out. And then Popeye starts, and we can probably move this back a little bit. Looking good so far. Now, uh, you notice I did mute the sounds here. There are some points where you may want to keep the original sound, other points where you don't. Uh, but we're going to add in some more sounds later, so I'm just going to mute both of those for now. We'll play with that later. So looking good so far. Uh, so now we're going to start working on the second scene. So let's go up here to Video, and we'll find, uh, we can do a search here. We'll do Fade, and we'll do Fade Out, or Fade to Black. That's even better. So we'll drop down to there, so this last little clip will fade to black. Perfect. Okay. So now we can import uh, videos for the next little scene. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Scene 2. And I'm going to add some clips. These are the clips here. Open them. And then I'll just drag that scene right here. And I will fade from black on that first video. Oh, let's control Z to undo that. Since I had multiple videos selected, it added it. They added it. It added um, that effect to all of them, but we don't want that. We'll fade from black, right like that. So let's see how that looks. Good. Now, these next clips were later in the night started getting dark outside and then I went inside and the lighting wasn't that great. So in a, in a minute we're going to add uh, some effects. We're going to adjust the brightness and contrast on that. Remember every once in a while we'll save. Now I went on to YouTube and I found a short little cartoon with the Monster Mash song because I didn't have the Monster Mash song and I thought this would be the easiest way to get it. Now I have a plugin that will let me download the video. Uh, for Firefox. If you don't have that plugin, if you watch the video and then go to your temp folder in Linux, you'll see that the temp video uh, temp folder holds flash files. So we're just going to take that file, we'll copy it, and we'll paste it somewhere in here into our project folder. Because you can't just import it from the temp because temp file won't be there forever. So I will I can stop this video now and I can go back to my project tree and I can add and I will go to where I just put that file. Uh, let's see. It doesn't show up because it's an FLV. We'll just go all files and it shows up right there. And now it's imported. We'll drag it down here. It looks like it's going to work out just fine. So now we can press play. probably even move this in some. Once again, it starts off with sound effects. You can have that start off as the other video fades out. Looking good. I actually I might even grab it, drag it down to the ne this next track, and actually overlap it some with the Popeye song. Let's see how that sounds. Mm, maybe if we do a audio fade in and we'll move it a bit like that. Let's see how that sounds.
think that looks good. It'll look better once we add some more sound effects at the end. So things are looking good. You know, look through it. And like I said, a lot of these shots are pretty dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to box select all of these. I'm going to go to video effects. And I'm going to go... I'm going to type in bright here. And it should search through the list for me. There we go. Brightness, we'll drag that down, add brightness to all of them, and then we'll do contrast. And I do suggest doing that order. I think that it works better if you do contrast first, then brightness. And now uh, you can start adjusting them all, uh, or you can do them individually here. I'm going to start adjusting the brightness up here. Uh, I'm going to click this clip, and I'm going to brighten it some, then I'll choose contrast, put the contrast up some. I wish I had a little bit better lighting when I filmed this, but at least we're making the picture viewable here. It doesn't look that great, but if you uncheck these, you can see what it looked like before and what it looks like now. It definitely is looking better. So you can go through and, and adjust the brightness and contrast on all your clips and see, you know, get them viewable. If, if some shots are real bad, like I had one in here that was, this one is real dark and real blurry. I'll just select it, delete it, shift select all these and drag them over. So that's your job now. If you have some dark videos or if you want to add other effects to your videos, go ahead and do that now and we'll have more editing in just a little.